you know, from Salford. I just want to give a massive shout out to Sporting Icons. Go and follow their page and subscribe for all the latest boxing news. So, post fight review to Afran Iqbal versus Simon Valili. This was a very good fight. I enjoyed this fight. Um, I'm sat there, um, only a few rows from the ring, and I'm enjoying the entire fight. I really am. Um, I was a little frustrated, though, to be honest, with Simon Valili, with the fact that he kept, whenever that, that they're in a clinch, he would either hit him after the break. Um, when the bell would go, he'd hit him again. Um, when he had him in the clinch, and he would pull Iqbal down and start hitting away on his back, which anybody would know that's illegal punches. So he kept doing these things, and I'm thinking he's going to get a warning in a minute. And true enough, he got two warnings through this fight. Now, this was for the English Cruiserweight title. Um, Simon Valili, he came into this with only one defeat, um, which was against Maris Bredis. And Iqbal came into this undefeated. Now, ultimately, the fight ended a draw. Um, which you can kind of see why. Um, I don't really have an issue with a draw, to be honest. But it was those needless things from Villali where he just kept hitting him illegally. And there was no need for it. For me, he was in pretty full control of the fight. Um, he did get tagged a few times, no doubt. Um, he could have stopped Iqbal in the last two rounds especially the final round, um, I remember sitting there and he hit him flush, he hit Iqbal flush and Iqbal was done and for whatever reason, Valali, he just didn't put his foot on the gas to try and finish him off but either way, I mean it went to points, it was a draw so you know there's no shame in a draw I suppose, I mean Iqbal I think he needs to work on some stamina a bit and maybe tone himself up a bit because he's like a bit soft around the midriff uh, you know, that's just my opinion. Um, with uh, Simon Valili, he looks the part. He really does. He just really does. He has that ring generalship. So he just needs to stop it with the silliness. So there's no need for him to be hitting the opponent in the back, hitting him on the back of the head. Whenever there's a clinch, the referee's broke up the clinch and he's hitting him as the referee is separating them. And when the bell goes, there's no need to hit your opponent because you're, you're going to lose fights at some point. When it goes to points and again i think he needs to work on finishing his opponents off because because as i said um he hit iqbal with some pretty decent shots iqbal was pretty much out of it and he just didn't finish him off for one reason or another but for me yeah a draw because he did get those two points deducted so yeah it's it's a fair result i think and it's a good fight, and I'm looking forward to seeing Iqbal fight again, and Valili. I think that uh, both of these guys, in fact, I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch, to be fair. But if not, um, I wouldn't mind seeing these two guys just progress a little bit more. Um, obviously, with Iqbal, he retains his English Cruiserweight title. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing him defend that title, and then maybe rematch Simon Valili at some point. Let's get this one done. Uh, for me, I don't really like draws too much. Um... I always feel like two fighters should try and rematch to try and get a win. That's just my opinion, of course, anyway. But, interesting fight, no doubt. Um, Simon Valili, like I said, he should have won that fight based on that performance. Just those stupid little shots. And he did get away with a bit more than what he should have done, in my opinion. But, anyway, it was a very good fight. So, drop your thoughts below if you watched this fight, of course. Click that thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.